friends, it's Kate from Venison for dinner. This is an Alertis on farm pregnancy test for a cow, and this is a vial of blood. And I'm gonna show you how to see if your cow is pregnant or not. Because if you only have a couple cows, friend, cute chicks, um, and you're not preg testing your cows, I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm, you're wasting time and money. And just about five weeks ago now, Olive was AI'd. So Olive is, let me show you here. Olive is half Jersey, quarter brown Swiss, quarter milking shorthorn. And she was bred to sexed Guernsey semen. So how that works is after they collect the semen from the bull and they put it in the straws, they put it in a centrifugal fuge and they spin it and the male semen mostly dies and the female lives. Pretty cool, hey? So the kids at dinner time asked something about, you know, if Olive's pregnant. And I said, you know, actually we can preg check Olive any time now. You, dad said, we'll have two cows and milk. And I was like, well, pretty soon we'll... And I said, well, when's Olive due? Because then we'll have three. Yeah, and I said, well, actually we can preg check her any time. I just didn't have time for Marius and I went away for a few days. So I was milking Jessa and Matt comes out and he goes, are we going to preg check Olive tonight? And I said, well, I wasn't planning to but Mac really wants to. So we've got Olive in our farmer style squeeze. Let me give you a rundown on this and then we're going to take a blood draw and do an at-home cow pregnancy test with that blood draw. It looks like a COVID test. Anyhow, we have our stanchion. This is from a dairy and uh, they took out old ones and put in new ones. My brother-in-law welded uh, legs on it and it then is, and he welded also these panels on it and he welded ends on it and Marius attached it in here. We had to do this because this moves. So this is our stanchion where we milk and we can milk multiple cows in here at once which is awesome. Two is comfortable. Three I don't think I'd want to do because if one cow got upset you'd get squished in the middle. So then we have a panel here that is just tied with good old baler twine. Hi Jessaboo. Boo. In there. So we had that panel opened up. We got her in here and then we scooched it in and we have the gate that we go into here and it's got a chain on it so it's just then chained here holding her there. We don't want to force Olive in. Number one, we don't want bad experiences. Number two, she's got horns and we had a bad experience last summer where a cow lost a horn. So we are very gentle with their horns. She will walk in there naturally once I start prodding her with a needle. So maybe that's not naturally. I remember Anyhow, doing this Delilah in the station. And I put like, and I just pulled Clover in right next to Delilah, and you said you better scooch her over a bit. Oh yeah. And she, she did. Yeah, I'm glad I did. I would have been squished. Yeah. So you definitely, when you're milking two cows in here, one goes on one side, one goes on the other. Anyhow, let's get our supplies. So we have just a little syringe. You only need to take a tiny bit of blood. I usually aim for about two cc's. So I got a three cc, three mil one here. This isn't. I got to actually confirm this washed off. I told Mac to get me a green needle. Normally I would use a longer one, but I think we might be fine with a shorter one. It just needs to be an 18 gauge. So I normally am using an 18 gauge by one and a half inch needle. So yeah, that looks like an 18 gauge to me. And yeah, but that's only an 18 by one, but I think it's going to work. So. Her don't, tail does not like the you don't need to force her there, Mac. Don't worry about it till I'm ready for it. Yeah. Okay, so we have the needle on, and we have our half on, and this is usually, I don't know. Um, it's nice to have a piece of paper towel. Shop towel. These are actually shop towels. Um, sometimes they poop on your hand. One time I was doing it, I had like a tail up, and I was going, and I was like going like this, and they just like poop right in my hand. I was like, wow, good morning to you too. That was Mabel. That was Mabel? Anyhow. I have food that. Let's probably check a cow. I wanted to see if she'd put her head in there. The one thing I find, I used to get Mac to hold the cow for me, but I find it's easier to be the one holding the cow and the one doing the needle because then you can move with the cow a bit better, although we do have her in a bit of a squeeze. I actually find this panel here annoying because I can't be where I want to be. How's it going there? Do you want it to see your head? I uh, know, just be showing what I'm doing. What's up? 
<laughs> Come on, put your head in, cow. Okay. Come on. Okay. So the trick here is instead of using a vacuum tube, which are really annoying to use, we're using the syringe like a vacuum to get the blood out. So, also bad lighting for me too. You're gonna feel. Put this in here. Do you need some? No, okay. I have a question. You can turn that off there for a second. Okay. Okay. So the reason we're doing the tail is because it's there's no hair. Can you see that part? So you want to feel. You can feel between their vertebrae because you don't want to just stab her into bone, right? So you want to have an idea of where between a vertebrae. And I'm aiming for a couple vertebrae up kind of midway through this point. So the one thing I'm going to tell you is you probably, it will take more than one poke. So just hey, accept When we did that. Mabel the first time, it, will, it was one poke. Yeah. That one time though. Okay. So I'm going to pop her in. Wow, she didn't even flinch. And then I'm going to use, well, if it just holy come. crap, it just came. Okay, so that was magic. No flinching and it just, the blood just yeah. came. <laughs> that is our best one yet. That's our best one We yet. got a first poke on Mabel, but it took a while okay. to get the first poke in. <laughs> okay, so normally I would stick that in and then I would pull this with a finger and if I didn't get blood, I keep the needle in her flesh, but I like shift it to move and hopefully hit a blood vessel. And if that, but I'm still holding vacuum with my finger. And if I don't get it, I'm shifting, pulling vacuum, shifting, pulling vacuum. Try to not take it out, because every time you go in and out, if the cow's agitated, it's gonna make them more agitated. So keeping it in, they are not usually bothered by that. That's why holding the tail and having it yourself, because then you kind of can move with your hands together. Whereas if someone else is holding it, you're kind of just like, that was amazing. Free in the wind. That was wild. Okay, so after we get the blood, you're supposed to tip it back and forth 10 times, something like that. The instructions on the alerties on farm pregnancy tests are way more complicated than I have ever done, and the pregnancy tests still work for me. So just know that it's not as complicated as they make it seem. I'm going to pass this to you, Mac. And this rag didn't even get... Oh, I did get a bit dirty. We won't wash and teat with this. And we're gonna let some cows up. So you can turn that off now. Murphy's Law is usually, when you're videoing something, it goes sideways. So Murphy's Law was not alive and well tonight. Um, is that a good thing? This is a very good thing. If you are doing multiple cows, make sure with your supplies, you also bring a Sharpie so that you can write the, I just put an initial of the cow, unless they all have the same name, or their no number or whatever, on the syringe, so you know which is which. Um, have you seen the turkeys new chicken? Have I seen the turkeys new chick? Yes. Our turkey hatched some chicken eggs. Anyhow, let's go get one of those pregnancy tests and see if this cow is pregnant. It is inexpensive to pregnancy check a cow, and just because your cow didn't cycle doesn't mean your cow is bred. She could have cysts, she could be too fat, she could be too skinny. So many reasons. Pregnancy test your cow so you know roughly when she's due so you can dry her off accordingly. Um, so that you know if she's bred or if you need to breed her again or if you need to get the vet out because she's not cycling. Either way, not pregnancy testing your milk cow is a huge mistake. Don't make that mistake. One time, we bought a cow, they had bred her, she didn't go into heat, she's pregnant. We bought her, seven months along, it's when you dry off a cow. We dry her off and after a week I'm like, you know, she really doesn't look pregnant. This was our third milk cow, second, third milk cow that we had. Really doesn't look pregnant. So I got the vet out. She's open. She has cysts on her ovaries. That's why she's not cycling. We gave her a shot of something. Can't remember what it was now. Then she cycled and we bred and she took. We were able to bring her back into milk because we hadn't, okay, Mac, come on. We hadn't had her dry very long. But please learn from my mistakes and pregnancy test your cow, okay? Two, three times this 
spring summer already I went and helped someone pregnancy test a cow and multiple of them were open they just assumed the cow was bred what do you say about assuming it makes an ASS out of you and me don't do it okay so there's two sides one has a pregnancy test and one has the accessories This, it looks like a COVID test. Apparently the company who makes these also makes COVID tests or vice versa. And it just looks like a human pregnancy test. Control line, the test for if it's positive or not and where you put the blood. And then on this side, we have a pipette to um, put the blood in because it's a specific amount of blood you need. And then this is the solution that you put in to follow the blood. Whenever I think of pipette, I think in uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox yeah. Mac, Pipette. 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 <laughs> Anyhow. Potassium okay. chloride. So, <laughs> if you had used a vacuum tube, you would be able to just put this in through and take it out. But because we didn't use a vacuum tube, also, if it's cold out, be doing this inside. You need it to be... Also magnesium. <laughs> okay. So, all I do Pipette. is I take the top off of this while keeping the cap on, right? And then we put it in and we suck up. We need a full to this and it will overflow into there if you have too much. Um, if the blood has started to coagulate, just give it a real good shake. Or the other thing you can actually do, if you don't have enough, you can do this and put it into there. But you can give it a real good shake and just get some of the liquid out of the coagulated blood and the test still works. So we're gonna put it in here. See, it's already starting to coagulate, but that's fine guys, it's still works just fine. Friends of ours, they drew blood. It sat on their seat of their pickup for hours while they were working cows and then they did it and it was just fine. Okay, so we do the blood and then right away we do six drops of this solution. One, two, three, four, five, six. If the blood is slow to go through there, be patient. It still will go through. Just follow it with the fluid, even if it takes a while to go through. So now, um, if I was doing multiple cows, I would put the time and the cow's initial or number on here so that I know, but it's 8.26 p.m. right now. It's going to take up to 20 minutes. So we're going to go deal with milk and do that sort of stuff. We're not going to get rid of this blood until this test shows me a control line saying that it worked because at the odd chance that it didn't work, we will use another one. Okay, that okay. right there where it turns red is the blood coming through into the test. It's white, it's red, yeah. red, red, yeah. and then that's going to fill up and then there's going to be little lines there and there. Oh, yeah. You want to, if it's one, if there's one line, the oh, okay, see so there's the control line, and then when that line comes up, that means the cow's pregnant. It's been 13 minutes and I'm not seeing any second line there so I'm not feeling super hopeful but I just need to learn to be patient. Even if it's the most faint line, it's a positive. So we're well over 20 minutes now and there is not a hint of a line. So we're gonna leave a bit longer here just to make sure. So I'm gonna wait so she missed a cycle about 10 days ago missed we didn't see it I'm gonna wait until she has another missed cycle make sure we don't see a heat I'll probably preg test again and if we don't see a heat then I'm going to it'll be giving a shot of lutalase which will trigger a heat and sometimes if they're having really silent heats lutalase will help you have a louder heat so you can actually see what's going on and get them bred um, or a friend of mine just bought a Jersey bull. Maybe we'll bring her to the bull.